welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing part two of my closet decluttering. So I already did declutter all of my clothes and it's nice and organized. I actually organized it for this video and I'm really happy with it. So I decided to do part two because I'm just tired of looking at all of the massive amount of shoes that I have. So yeah, I'm gonna get right into the video because as the other video took forever, I don't want this video to take as long as that one did. So before I get into the video, please subscribe to my channel, be a part of my mermaid squad, and don't forget to put the notification bell on so you know whenever I post a new video. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna show you guys how it looks now. Like I said, I did organize it for this video. Okay, here are all of my clothes, nice and organized. I actually finger spaced it too. If you worked in retail, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so it starts from here and then goes all the way back. So I got rid of like a lot of clothes, but now it's time to tackle this mess. And same with my shoes, it goes all the way back there. So we're gonna be doing that and then we're gonna be going into these bins right here, which actually have my bags. So I'm gonna go through that as well. So like I did in the first video, I'm gonna take everything out of my closet, only the things I'm gonna be using, obviously not my clothes, but I'm just gonna do that so I can actually like see it all in one big pile. And it's pretty easy because they are in those baskets already. So I'm gonna start with my bags first cause I know that's like the easiest thing to do. Then we'll move on to shoes. So yeah, let me just take these down. So that was actually a lot easier than it was the first time because I already organized it, but I need to declutter it. So I know one of them is bikinis. I think it's this one. So I think I'm just gonna go through them cause I know the ones that I've wore like last year and the ones that I just keep because I just keep, I don't know why. So we're gonna start with, not that one. I don't wanna start with that one. That's like all of my travel bags. So we're gonna start off with this guy and this has all of my purses in it. Welcome to my TED talk. All right, so let's go through these bags. So I have this fanny pack right here. I actually like this. I wore this um, on my chilling with nature video, like when we went on a hike. So I'm gonna keep this for that reason because it does have a lot of room and it has this back pocket too. I actually kind of want to keep most of the stuff. So I think I'm just gonna go through what I don't want. Yeah, I pretty much like all of it. This bag I've had forever. This bag is good. It's just like, I don't know. I want to keep all of these bags. I like kind of went through these already. So we're just going to keep them all. So let's actually go through the bin that I don't want to. <laughs> so, cause that will actually be better. And I got these from Amazon. So I'll definitely link them down below for you guys. If you want to get them. The only bad thing is that you can't put too much in here. Cause like, it just doesn't close like the top doesn't close but i mean it is what it is it doesn't bother me let's go through all of my travel bags i like have so many travel bags i collect them all the time you know when brands like when you buy things online sometimes they give you some bags i've worked for different brands so i just have a lot of bags like a lot of travel bags so we're gonna go through all of these uh, i just got this new one this is from milk makeup this is actually what my foundation came in so I really like this. This is so freaking cute and it's clear. So this is definitely perfect for traveling. And I got two foundations cause one shade was too dark. So I'm going to keep these. What else? This bag. This is so hard because like I need all these bags. Says hoarder of bags. I don't know. Okay. This bag I'm going to throw away. This bag doesn't hold anything like no tea, no shade urban, but like, this is like so cheap. So that's, I'm just gonna throw it away. That's garbage. So look, I already did one. Kudos to me. Here's another urban bag. That's like disgusting. Oh my God. This was like way before I even worked for urban. I don't even know when I got this, but like this used to be, <laughs> this used to be this color. So I just like it cause it's clear. It's so hard to find like good clear bags. Maybe, maybe pile. We're gonna put that in the maybe pile. This, I think someone actually gave this to me. Um, I don't know, it's not my style, but it's like, look again, it's like a good sturdy bag. Okay, I'm thinking about it too much, so I think I'm gonna donate this. Give it to someone that can really use it. I mean, I can, but I just have too many, so. This is gonna be in the donate. So like I said before in my other video, I'm gonna have uh, four piles. So I have donate, um, love, maybe, and then the other one is seasonal. Um, this really isn't seasonal. I think I had one seasonal bag. It was like a fur bag, but that one I already put away. So yeah, that's just like a little organization tip. 
And then I have another fanny pack in red. Um, I don't know. I don't really like how bright this is. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking like, what if I wore white or something? It'd be really cute. But this is more like a sporty fanny pack. So I might give this to my sister actually. So see if she likes that. So that's a donate. This is when I worked for Urban. I actually really like this bag. It's really cool. It has like all these pictures of like, like there's one with London, a picture of London. It's just like a whole bunch of pictures of different like countries. So I think it's cute and it has a cute little boho strap. So I think I'm gonna keep this for travel. I never like, like you can button it like this. I never really do that. I kind of just fill it up with what I need and it's really good for traveling. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Oh, amazing. Another clear bag from Urban. Definitely gonna keep this. This is where my skincare goes. And then I have another one from Clinique. I just said I don't have a lot of clear bags and like here I have multiple. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep these clear bags because they're so good to have for a travel. What else, what else? Oh my God. Oh, for brushes. Okay, so this is when I travel with brushes, which I don't really use anymore because I have another um, travel bag that has brushes and you can fit your makeup in there. So, and this is really dirty and disgusting. I mean, maybe I'll clean it. I'm gonna clean it and then I'm gonna donate it because I know this is like really hard to come by or I might give it away to one of my friends because when I travel with this, I fill it up with brushes and I never use them. So this is gonna help me travel smart <laughs> and not bring all my brushes. So this is gonna be a donate. I just have to clean it off. Next. Oh, I bought this because I thought this was so freaking cute to travel with. See, I have all these travel bags. I can't. Um, definitely going to keep this because I just got this. I'm not trying to get rid of that. Um, another urban bag. I don't know. I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of this bright color, but it's, it's good to have. Okay. I'm going to keep this because I'm going to get rid of two other bags that I see in here. So I'm going to keep this one. So these are from Mac and as you know, I went cruelty free, so I don't support Mac anymore. Um, so I think I'm gonna give these away. One, because I didn't even use it. Like they were, I just thought they were cute. They never were used. So I'm gonna give these away. And yeah, we're not Mac fans in this household anymore. So, and this one's like all like shiny. It has all different colors. It's really pretty. I just like didn't like, see it's still in the freaking packaging. So this is another donate. Oh my God, I'm throwing this away. This is disgusting. Look at this. This bag was from, um, I think in my kit for foundations and I'm not trying to keep this. This looks so dirty and grungy and nasty. So we're going to get rid of this. And it's from Sephora, another brand that I don't support. So, well, company, not brands. I mean, they do have brand too, but that's besides the point. Um, if you want to find out why, um, I posted it in my last makeup tutorial. So this is garbage. So this is another Urban Decay bag. This one actually ripped. So, I mean, I could sew it, but am I going to sew it? That's the question here. So I think I'm going to donate this and then someone else can sew it, you know? And it's so cute. It says good things happen when you're naked. This is when the foundation came out. So I'm going to donate this. <laughs> Maybe, this is a maybe, maybe, maybe. This I actually got from Nordstrom. So you can wear it as a fanny pack or you can wear it as a purse. And I think it's cute, but still tag on it. Don't think I'm gonna wear it. So we're going to donate this one. Um, oh, I like this bag. This color is so pretty. It matches my hair, look, so cute. Um, so this is from Laura Mercier when I worked in Nordstrom. So another one you can like kind of snap and hold things into place. Definitely gonna keep this because I can fit like, I can fit foundation and stuff in here, you know, without it like moving around. So I'm gonna keep that one for sure. Oh, this is from Urban 2. This is so cute. It's just like hella obnoxious. <laughs> so, um, but I'm still gonna keep it because I can fit like, okay. So this is a good example. So I'm not gonna keep both of these. I have to only keep one and I think this one is more toned down. So I'd rather keep this one than this one because this one is just like, oh my God, like gold, you know? I love gold. <laughs> so we're just going to keep this one. We're gonna donate this one. See, 
I'm, I'm doing good here. This, oh my God, I used to use this for my camera stuff. And then I guess it just ended up back in here. Um, this is way obnoxious, way too bright for me. I'm more of like a neutral girl, as you can see, besides my eyes. Um, oh, and if you wanna see this makeup look, I did post it on Instagram. So definitely check that out if you want all the details and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, this I'm going to give away because she's bright and I already have big bags like this. All right, all right, we're almost done, we're almost done. I'm, I'm actually happy I did this. Kate Spade. Oh my God, I got this when I worked at Lord & Taylor like years ago. So she is definitely used and abused, disgusting. So I think I'm gonna keep this though because I'm actually running low on my bags. I don't know if you guys can see them, but I don't have too many bags and like I'm a bag hoarder, like a travel bag hoarder. So I'm gonna keep this one for sure. My aunt actually gave this to me. It says, I woke up like this and it has all the Disney princesses on it. I'm going to throw this away because like, they're all different colors now. They're all yellow when they were white at one point. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of her because she's looking a little dusty, crusty. So garbage. All right, so we only have a couple more. So I have this Marc Jacobs bag. You guys know I love Marc Jacobs. I'm definitely gonna keep this. The color is not too obnoxious. It is, oh, it matches my eyes. <laughs> um, It is like a blue, but it's not like gold, like the other one was, you know what I mean? Or like red. So, um, so this is from Tarte forever ago. Please ignore all the plastic bags. I actually just kept them because I keep my jewelry in here. Um, but I don't wear as much jewelry as I used to. So I think I'm gonna throw all of this away. So all of this is garbage. And I think I'm gonna donate this little tart bag because you can fit so much in here. I got this, oh my God, I got this when I worked at Sephora. Dude, see it's like crossed out. That was my like um, employee number. I'm dead. So yeah, you can fit a lot of stuff in here. I think this is really good for travel. So I think someone would really like this if they can just ignore the fact that that's crossed out. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then it just closes like a little book and it has a little clamp right here. And it says, Tarte, how cute. So I'm gonna donate that because I don't need that anymore. Oh, and my aunt used to work for Chanel um, in sex. So she gave me this. So I'm gonna keep this for Mims. And then what is in here? More bags, like ugh, such a hoarder. Um, here's another Ipsy bag. Oh my God, this is so old. It doesn't even work. Why, why are you keeping this, Ariel? Um, this one is Dior. So this was when I worked at Nordstrom. Again, I think this is really cute. Is it the same size? This is a little bit smaller. So I think I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm gonna keep that one too. All right, I have, Four small ones, that's not terrible. I think it's better than what I had. And then I have this Prada one that I actually bought with my own at Mula. And when I got it, cause I got it online, I didn't realize how freaking small it was. So I'm definitely gonna keep this because I paid a lot of money for this. So now I have to determine which one to keep out of all, all three of these because I can't keep all of them. Pick for me, which one? Like a video game. Choose your travel bag. Choose your character. Oh, this is so hard. Cause I love the ombre, like that's so pretty. But then I love this Marc Jacobs bag cause I just love Marc Jacobs. And then this is just Prada. So we have to keep Prada. I'm just gonna keep all three of them. I don't care. I'm keeping them. Damn it. <laughs> another ipsy bag i kept this because i like back in the day do you remember those rebecca minkoff bags that like everybody had and i always wanted <laughs> i just choked because i got too excited i always wanted one so i never got one but when ipsy sent me um this i was like oh my god i got a rebecca minkoff thing and it was so cute it has little pineapples on it but i think it's it's time to go it's like i'm feeling it it just feels grimy and nasty so I'm, I'm gonna throw this away because who wants, nobody wants this. Maybe, maybe I'll donate it and then if anything, they can throw it away. So at least I tried, but yeah. And then, yeah, we just have the Chanel thing in here again. And then, oh, oh nice catch. Okay, let's put everything back first and then I'll go over the maybe stuff. So I 
just put all of the donate stuff in this bag. So that I think that's a lot of stuff, honestly. All right, so we're done with bags. I'm so, so happy. So let's go over these stupid bikinis. <sighs> oh my God, it's so organized. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I look organized. I didn't just throw stuff in here. Okay, Um, I think I actually got rid of a lot. So I don't even think I need to go through this. I like did this. I know that I went through it because I wouldn't have just thrown everything in here if I didn't. So bikinis and um, cover-ups are in here. So we're done with that. So yeah, let us move on to the shoes, which everybody wants to see. So yeah, let me just clean up all this ish. I'm gonna put all this stuff back and then we'll move on to shoes. So I'm actually pretty like impressed because these are all my little sections right here. Getting rid of this stuff. The red ones are way too big um, and the black ones like they're disgusting. Like these were when I used to go out in the bars and stuff and like party. Those are disgusting. These are seasonal. I love my docs. So I can't wear them now because summer's coming up. So I might keep this one in my closet, but these chunky ones I'm definitely going to put away because they're really hot. Um, these are loves and then these are maybe. Okay, hopefully um, this angle is okay because I don't know, you really wanna focus on my shoes anyway. So, all right, let me start off with, I guess the shoes that I'm wearing. So these are from Fashion Nova. They're really, really comfortable. See, they're like the, um, they're like a sport um, sneaker. I have Jester's hair all over them. So yeah, they're really comfortable. They have a nice thick platform. So I love these. The only issue is that I have like no wiggle room, so I can't wear any thick socks with these. And if I wear them for too long, they do start to hurt, but I'm definitely gonna keep them because they're really comfortable, especially if I'm going on like a plane or something. All right, so I just got these sneakers. These are from DSW, they're Converse brand. They have a nice platform, so they're really comfortable. Um, I just got another white sneaker because since the other ones aren't too comfortable, I can wear these if I really, you know, want to do a lot of walking or, you know, just like style. I love these, these are so freaking cute. And I got them for super duper cheap because DSW is just doing a lot of coupons right now. So yeah, definitely gonna keep these, these are cute. So let's move on to, I think I'm just gonna do all sneakers and then move on to like sandals and then heels. So for the sake of the video, um, I'm gonna keep these. I think I'm just gonna show you guys the ones that I like because I'm not gonna try all of these on because I know that I wanna keep most of them. Um, so these are just black pinstripe Converse, gonna keep these. Then I got some Vans. These are like so beat up, but I'm still gonna keep them. So just in case I go to like, I don't know, amusement park or something, they're great walking shoes. So I'm gonna keep these too. Um, these are my workout shoes. I got two different ones. These I wore in the hiking video. These are really comfortable. And then I have just regular Nikes with these cute little rainbow shoestrings. Keeping these, these are some cute Adidas and they have like leopard print. I don't know if you can see it. They have leopard print right here. They're so freaking cute. I got these so long ago. But I'm gonna keep these because I just feel so fly in these because they're uh, high tops. I love them. These, I get so many compliments on when I wear them to work. They're just Oxfords. Um, and then they have this little like fringe on the front. I got these when I worked at Mac. I got these at Macy's for a really good deal. They are Enzo and Galil in me. Yeah, they're really nice. I really like them. I wear these for work sometimes because I don't really want to ruin them, but they're great. Just Oxfords if you want to, you know, have a masculine outfit, I guess. Like a cute button down with some nice tight jeans. This would be cute. So I'm going to keep those. All right. So that's it for sneakers. So let's try on these sandals. I love these sandals. I'm going to keep these. But these are Steve Madden. I'm going to try these on because these are really cute. I also got these from DSW like um, I think two years ago. Look how cute they are. They're like Jesus sandals. I love them. And these are really comfortable. They're perfect to wear with like literally anything. The only issue I have is that like back here, since I have really small ankles, they don't fit. 
but they're really cute so yeah definitely check out dsw because they have really good sandals and then i have another pair that i'm gonna keep for work they're like hella dingy and disgusting but these are perfect for work because they're so comfortable so i'm just gonna keep these so i'm gonna keep these for work for the summer and they're good slide-ons you know oh these are also my favorite these are from fashion nova they're like the knockoff Valentinos, but you know you can't really tell all right so these are my little fake Valentinos from fashion nova they're cute i'm gonna keep them because this can really go with anything that's what I'm trying to keep. I'm trying to keep things that go with anything. So these black ones I got for work too last year. They're not that comfortable, to be honest. Um, I don't know. And I feel like they like kind of look weird on my foot. So I might donate these, honestly, because I don't know. These might be pushed to the maybe pile because I just, I don't know. They're not doing it for me. Yeah, we'll put this in the maybe pile. We'll see. We'll see um clear heels love these um i got two pair because this pair was dingy i got this like a while ago um and then i got another pair you see how like this one is yellow and the other one is clear so that's why i got another pair i might get rid of these honestly because it's like lifting look at that i can like rip this oh my god i can rip this off yeah no so that's garbage. At least I have another pair. But I like these clear heels because you can wear them with anything. So we're gonna keep that. We're gonna throw the other pair away. So I don't know where the other one is, but that's garbage. All right, these are another pair I got from work for work. I think these are Target. I don't know. But oh, these are actually pretty comfortable. These are cute, right? So I might keep these and get rid of the other ones. Here, let me compare the two and see how I feel. Let me see in a, my little viewfinder. I honestly, these are a lot more comfortable and I don't know, I'm just like not feeling these really. And I feel like I can slip out of these so easy. This one, not as much. So we're gonna get rid of these. Donate these. Pew! Next. Oh my God, I got these shoes. I'm gonna keep these for sure. I got these shoes for my sister's wedding cause she had a beach wedding and we couldn't really wear heels on the beach. So I just got this to go with that peach dress that I kept. And they're so cute. I love the nude color because it's not like my skin tone nude. So you can like see them. I love them. And I got these from Nordstrom Rack. They're cute. So pretend I like strapped them. I just don't feel like it, but yeah, these are cute. All right, so we're almost done. Um, these flip flops I'm gonna keep. I got these from, uh, I think Old Navy or Target. No, I got these from Target. Uh, they had a black pair too, so I'm gonna go back and see if they actually have another pair because look, it's like the bottom has a mouth on it because <laughs> I wore them so much. So I'm gonna keep them for now until I replace them. So I have the open toe and I have the closed toe version. Um, they're both like the same color. This one is a little bit lighter, but look how like disgusting and dirty this one is because I went out in these. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these and then keep these since these are a lot more clean. Let's see, these I got from Shoe Dazzle. I wore this for Valentine's Day and these are actually pretty comfortable. All right, we're just gonna do it once because we ain't got time to tie it all the way. And then oh, I almost put the left foot on. And then this one, I love these because these are so comfortable, but like the back is just so dirty. But like, look, they're literally the same shoe. This one on my left is a little bit higher but I have this one in like my skin tone nude, so I'm gonna keep that one. So I don't have the same color heel and like a different type, you know? I mean, I'll donate it if they wanna throw it away, they can do it. But I wanna give someone a chance if they wanna fix this up, so. Oh, oh my God, I'm gonna break something, dude. It's because I keep throwing things. Oh, I almost said like Kobe, RIP Kobe. So these are the ones that I said I have in my skin tone. So I also got these from Target. Target has some really good shoes, guys. Don't sleep on Target. I love the color and these are so comfortable and the back is not dirty and disgusting. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep these. These are so cute. I know these are like really ugly, but these are really good shoes for like interviews. So if I had to go on an interview for something, they're not too high. At one point I didn't even have interview shoes. So I think these are perfect. I hate how skinny they are, but I mean, these 
I love. I wore these for my birthday and New Year's actually. Um, these are so freaking comfortable. Oh my God. I love how like it has a little buckle over here. It's so cute. It gives it like a whole like grungy vibe and they're nice and thick. So you can literally dance in these. You can do whatever you want in these. Look how cute. I love them. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these for sure. And then last love are these like disgusting. Ew, these are so nasty. I've had these shoes forever. Like, look at them. But these are work shoes, so like that's why they're so scuffed up. I'm gonna keep them for now because I don't have another like closed toe shoe for work. And then once I get another pair, I will replace them. I do even have inserts in here just to make them a lot more comfortable, but yeah. All right. Let's move on to this side. I'm gonna try all these on because I don't know if I wanna keep them or not because some of them I got for vacation, like this bright ass yellow one, like where am I going? And these are not comfortable at all. So I don't think I'm gonna keep these because I couldn't even really walk in these when I wore them. And I'm not even a stiletto girl anymore. I don't even know why I bought them. They're cute, yeah, but like, no. They're not my vibe anymore. Oh, we're gonna get rid of these. Donate. All right, this I got for my friend um, Marielle's wedding. And I love these. I love the color. I think it's so pretty with all white. I think I wore it with like peach. Not that comfortable. I remember I got blisters in these. So I think I'm gonna keep these though because I love the color. And I feel like these can go with like any neutral. It just gives you like a nice pop. So yeah, let's keep these bad boys. Now, since we're trying on heels, let's try on the mermaid shoe. I love this, but like, look how skinny this heel is. Like, girl, why did I get this? I don't know, man. You know when you go on vacation and you just buy stuff for vacation and then you like never wear it again? I think that's what this was, but I love this shoe. I just have to make another hole since my ankles are so skinny but like, I don't even know if I can survive in these. The green one doesn't have back support, so at least this one has like support. I think I'm gonna keep these, and like if I'm feeling risky, I will wear them, because these are cute. Clearly I can't even like walk in them in my carpet, but. <laughs> so now let's move on to the burgundy vans. Um, I got these to wear in the summer with cute shorts. Um, I don't know, man. I might keep them. If I don't wear them, I'm gonna get rid of them. But if I do, I will keep them. But I only wear them very rarely, like in the fall. Like, I don't know. So I think I'm gonna keep these. I'll keep them for now, see how it is. I'll revisit it in like a couple months. And if I don't wear them, then they gotta go. And our last shoe are these gray Adidas. And I liked these at first, but now, I don't know, they're like, to me, don't get offended. I think they're like mom shoes. Like, I don't know. They're just like not it. And like, I see a lot of moms wear these shoes and I'm like, I mean, I get you're a cool mom, I guess. I don't know. It's just not my style. I love the gray because I don't have any gray sneakers, but it's just, I don't know, man. I'm just not feeling it anymore. Oh my God, they're, they're so dirty. No, no, no. We're gonna get rid of these. All right, that's it. I'm like huffing and puffing. <laughs> Cause this is, this is a lot of work, man. Oh, <sighs> all right. So I'll show you guys what I'm keeping. Let me put my socks back on because I hate when my toes are exposed. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna put the Converse on cause I haven't actually wore them yet. And I just wanna wear them around the house and look cute. <laughs> now I'm gonna take all of the love stuff, put it back in my closet and then that's it. I'll come back and say goodbye because unfortunately the video is over. <laughs> so how this was before, it was like, as you guys saw, it was sandals and then I had heels in the back. Um, I think I'm going to do it the same way because it was like, I don't know, it was easier for me, but I do eventually want to invest in a shoe rack. Once I do that, I will definitely show you guys, but right now I'm just gonna put it back to how it was. Oh, and I did it by color coding. So I'm gonna do that again.
right, so here is the after. Oh my God, it looks like kind of the same from before, but I do have a lot more room. Yeah, once I get a shoe rack, it's gonna look so much better. I love how that I don't have that many options anymore, like with my clothes and everything. I'm like so excited that I actually love my closet again. Before it was like an overwhelming place I didn't wanna go because I just had too many things, too much stuff. Again, I hope this inspired you to, you know, go through your closet, see what you wear, see what you need, see what you don't need. Um, I think it's like a really good refresher because I don't know, it just makes you feel like you have a weight off your shoulder. Like you feel lighter because you decluttered your closet. And now when you go in there, you're not gonna ruffle through things that you don't use. You're gonna actually like go through things that you can wear, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't check out part one where I try on all my clothes, like I said, definitely check that out. I'll link that down below for you guys. And yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, be a part of my Mermaid Squad, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.